Welcome back to another review and today I'm going to take a look at the Star Trek The Official Guide to the Animated Series Book. I have to admit, I never watched the show as a kid. I don't think I remember seeing this in Switzerland on TV, but I was somewhat aware of it. And then Netflix started streaming it and I watched them. And despite the limited animation, given the format and the budget, it's understandable. But it was still fascinating to watch because they had all the voices, had new music for the show. And the stories were actually pretty cool, especially Yesteryear, the one about Spock. You should watch that. So when they announced the official guide to the animated series, I was very, very excited. So let's check this out and see what's in there. So throughout the book, you're going to see a lot of artwork where it's sketches, concept work. It's already very cool. You got the intro here. This is done by Aaron Harvey and Rich Sheppies. I'm assuming this is how you pronounce it, Sheppies. Even here in the contents, you have sketches, you got model sheets, storyboards. It's already very cool. I'm a big fan of this when you got little early on sketches. These are final frames from the show, dedicated and an intro. And you got early sketches. Spock, look at that. See, that is just super cool. You see the early versions of the characters. This is the animated version. This is the animated concept art. And the book gives you a good introduction to what was going on at the time, what it accomplished. You can see here, it's a little bit of a story, some of the awards that it won. A bit of a production update with the creator, Gene Rottenberry. And it's full of little stories and photos and behind the scenes. Very, very cool. Gives a bit of a background of how this animation got started, the company who did this and why, and the budget. And then you have things like this here, where it's from script to screen. It's a two page spread explaining the whole process from script all the way down to the finished episode, which is again, very, very cool. I tagged this here because there's this rumor that the person responsible for the show was Carl Blind, and, and that's why you had specific colors like the Klingons wore pink. And that is apparently not true. That was all art directed, and the person who was in charge of doing all the colors was not colorblind. So it addresses some of those rumors and myths about the show. And because the budget was so small, there's something here. You couldn't use more than six cell levels under the camera, and that's why you have certain mistakes where colors overlap or parts of the body are missing. So they even go into more details than bloopers and things like that. And then it goes season one, explaining the show, and then having kind of a behind the scenes and explanation and, and an overall overview over each episode for every season, which is very cool. Tells you who's in it, the voice acting, kind of the story, early sketches for some of the new ships or the creature that you see. There's something called something for the kids with little details about that, including bloopers and all kinds of interesting uh, facts you like fascinating. And here you got the bloopers area. Again, filled with sketches and final imagery. It's just so cool. I'm such a nerd, I love this. Including here, you got the data bank outlining what's going on in terms of what do we see, what kind of life forms, what kind of props, what kind of planets. This is an awesome episode, by the way, Yesteryear. If you have access to the show, watch Yesteryear, at least that one, it's great. So this continues on for every single episode. So there's a ton of artwork, a ton of sketches, model sheets, it's so cool. Even if you haven't seen the show and you're somewhat interested in Star Trek, just seeing all of the designs, I want to page through these like that. Look at that. It's just so cool. So nerdy. Lots of details and behind the scenes that are brand new and published for the first time in this book. It's very, very cool. And this ends with that. And then it goes into the series legacies with more information about what happened afterwards, the influences, and of course the merchandise and the toys and with an afterword and the acknowledgements <laughs> here with the two in Star Trek uniform. And there you go, that's the end of the book. Backside, it's really, really cool. As an animation nerd, it's awesome to see all the details and the sketches and the designs, like I said. And on top of that, if you're a Star Trek nerd, seeing all that for the first time is super cool. You can get the show on DVD and Blu-ray as well if you're interested, link in the description, of course. So there you go, this is the book and it says here for $34.99, you can get that in the US. If you check it out on Amazon, it is $31.49. And I wanna link the Amazon uh, product page in the description, of course you can get this wherever you can. That's it, that was a quick look at the book. If you have this already, the comments are open, let me know what you thought about it. That's it for me. And I think the next one is gonna be this one. I wanna take a look at this book too, that might be 
the next one book wise but then again these are probably going to be first that one and number two absolutely fantastic these are probably the next ones in terms of books but that's it for me thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next review